Representing the business of boxing, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Manager Marty! Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me ask you this. Shouldn't mm -hmm. Crawford have pursued Boots since Boots was ranked number two? No, I, I thought I thought the challenger pursues the champion. Mm. <laughs> I, mean, I could be wrong. No, no, no. Hold on. I got something for that. This is why I like you Crawford fans when you come up here because I get an opportunity to teach you things. Now, I'm glad you said that, sir. You Oops. said that it's the challenger who's supposed to pursue the champion, right? If you want the belt. If he wants the belt. Now, we all know that David Ebenezer, in November of 2022, he was already scheduled to fight on a card in another country. Mm -hmm. You agree with that, don't you? Yep. yep. Uh, and at that time, Bud Crawford was the WBO welterweight champion of the world. You would agree with that too, correct? Yeah, I agree. I, I get what you're saying, but he, no, he could have no, chose. No, uh, I just, I just, he, he chose. He could have chose Avenues instead. He could have chose he, Boots. Just a yes or no. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So now my question becomes to you: If that statement is true, that the challenger is supposed to pursue the champion, why did the champion Terrence Crawford pursue the challenger and David Avenesian? Um, those are the names that those are the names that BLK brought to the table. Huh? Was Boots not so? I'm gonna I'm gonna answer that with a question. Was Boots willing to go to BLK Prime to replace Avenesian? Because if he wasn't about to do it a second time, what makes? Please ex explain to me how was he gonna replace Avenesian? All right, so you're asking me. All right, hold up. So I asked you a question, and your answer is to ask me a question. Okay, the question it's, again. That, that'll you be your answer right there. Well, no, you didn't answer. I asked you. You said that the ch the challengers was a pursuit of champion. So my question is, why did the champion Terrence Crawford pursue the challenger and David Ebenezer? He didn't pursue him. They brought they brought him to him. Those are the names that came across the table. I, I, he didn't mention what, what other names came across the table, but David Ebenezer was one of those names. Now I wish I had other names for you, but he didn't, he didn't divulge that. Boots was one of them, but Boots had the opportunity. To make himself available for Crawford the by having making the WBO no, do their job, not. right? Hold on, because listen now. In November of 2022, you admitted that Crawford said that Boots' name never came up. In other words, Boots wasn't an option. Boots wasn't on nobody's radar because his name never came up. But couldn't WBO mandate that fight? I'm I'm, I'm asking Jeremy West because I don't know. The WBO can mandate any fight that they wanted. They, 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 that they want to fight. I mean, so if Boots wanna, wanted that fight, he could have. So if Boots wanted that fight, he could have asked the WA. Can you? Can no, you? That that fight? No, that is not what I'm saying. You got was that an option for Boots? Huh? Was that an option for Boots? What? To ask the WBA to, to mandate the, the fight since I he was like ranked number two. I don't know. If Come on, option. Marty. You the guy. You know. You know this, man. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know if that was an option for him because at the time. We were talking about, everybody was talking about a Terrence Buck Crawford and David and uh, Errol Spence fight. Get, so this is the timeline. I don't want, that's the big piece of the puzzle that I want you mm -hmm. to include in this equation. That everybody was under the impression that Terrence Crawford was going to fight Errol Spence. Nobody right. knew, not even Al Heyman knew that Bud Crawford was going to go and fight a uh, 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 David Ebenezer because he was stalling in the negotiations and he was he, and he was communicating and corresponding with Al Heyman and at the same time without without Showtime and them knowing he was also communicating with BLK Prime because they were under the, they meaning PBC and Al Heyman they were under the impression right because they sent Crawford a proposal his words and IG live not mine. They sent him a proposal in May, a month after uh, Errol Spence fought Uga, and then they sent him a contract in August. They were under the impression, because Bud gave him the impression, 
that he agreed to the terms and he was going to sign it. And then out of the clear blue, even you, a Crawford fan, you didn't even know that he was going to fight David Ebenezer. So it wasn't like Boots was waiting around to see if he can petition the WBO. No, Boots and the entire boxing world was waiting around to see, and so was the WBO, their words, not mine, to see whether Terrence Crawford was going to fight Errol Spence Jr. That was the that's whole fair, thing of this. Okay, that's that's a fair point. That's a fair point, but but the other but no, the thing is keep confusing. It's not a fair yeah, no, come on, no, no, I get it. You're right, you're right, you're right. So, but my thing is, we keep uh, harping on us. Oh, uh, Bud could have chose Boots. He could have chose Boots instead of Ebenezer. He chose David. He, he chose David Ebenezer, who was ranked number Correct. six. I get that, but if he chose Boots, was Boots willing to go to BLK? How can Boots go to B? I'm glad you brought that up. I mean, about. no, no, no. Now you put your man. You Josh, put, you, you all over the place, bro. Hey, man, listen. You bringing your man blue? You making your man blue blood look bad by asking me that? So I'm going to educate. No, you. I don't care about who I'm looking to make it look bad. I don't have I no know, allegiance to those content I'm creator. Asking. Yeah, I know. You know, I don't care either. Let's get into it. You asked, could Boots have gone over to BLK Prime? Why would Boots go right. over to BLK Prime? When him and his dad and his uh, representation were in an agreement with a whole entire different network that was already established, who already had over, uh, what is it, 35 years in this business for a company that just started like yesterday? What right. did you do that at, bro? So exactly. you just answered my question. So the, so, so the whole thing about Bud should have chose boots to go fight it on on an app that boots was not even willing to go it was it's a foregone conclusion so no, why are we bringing that up no 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 no, 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 listen, no. Listen, you're talking to me so i say chill no, no, no i'm listen. talking to you here, boy here hold on hold on down now Yo, take go. it take your goofy ass somewhere please man seriously uh-huh mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you, you jammed hold on, hold up brother hold on hold on, hold on Asante. i got him hold on okay hold on, i got this oh, i got it yeah, come over here with this nonsense so, so you don't know boots. boxing all right so hold on listen listen so boots so Boots' name never came up, according to Crawford. That's what Crawford said in November of 2022. Crawford said that a month before he fought David Ebenezer. So it's not like Boots was in the wings waiting to go to the network. That's what I'm saying. So his name never came up, according to Crawford. So with that being said, if his name never came up, then that means that nobody expected Boots to fight Crawford, period. Everybody expected Crawford to fight Errol Spence Jr. So with that being said, it's not like Boots had a choice. See, the way that Crawford fans is kicking it is that Boots had a choice to choose whether or not he wanted to go to BLK Prime.